Check out what my friend and I found. I'll sell some of it to you if you want. I found them near the old Dwemer Bridge in the far west. I'll mark it down for you on your map for a small fee. Fine, I'll show you, you big bully. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was fun! Do it again! Hi there. Until next time. The General and I have our disagreement. Your objective is Fort Sunguard. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? I knew I could count on you, soldier.
think you're bleeding?
It was important we reclaimed the Reach. Letting Ulfric control the flow of silver was a mistake. One I'm glad we finally corrected. You've little time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering our final assault on Windhelm. Report to our camp in Eastmarch. It's not true what they say about you and the Dark Brotherhood, is it? Can't wait to gut one of those rebels. If you're... You were there for Rogvir's execution. It's good to see you. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. I'm just an old woman, don't hurt me.
staying safe, I hope. Got something for just about everybody here. Yep. Holler if you have any questions. Beer and take a look. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I yield! I yield! Something to report? Your objective is the enemy held fort. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? I knew I could count on you, soldier.
I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. A united effort. Better for everyone. Whoops.
what you want? That's your best, huh? <laughs> City. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it! We're taking the city. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it! We're taking the city. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it!
Already done, sir. Alfred Stormcloak. You are guilty of insurrection, murder of Imperial citizens, the assassination of King Torek, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Step aside, Galmar. We're here to accept Ulfric's surrender. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt and dying Empire. Skyrim doesn't belong to you, Ulfric. No, but I belong to her. Enough! You are traitors and will die traitors' deaths. Stand down and face public execution. Or advance and face summary execution by my hands. It matters little to me. Either way, I'll be sending your heads back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> for the, the Emperor! Of Skyrim! <laughs> 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 Any last requests before I send you to... to wherever you people go when you die? Sovngarde, sir. Right. Well? Let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not, I just want it done. Here. Use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Talos be with you. What was that, Lady? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting something. City over to that free winter fellow. Runwolf, yes, I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. Windhelm will need a government quickly if we are to prevent more violence. The Legion will be staying here for quite some time. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Leggett, it's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. The sooner we end this rebellion, the sooner I'll be able to sleep at night. There are those who still call themselves Stormcloaks, who continue to fight us and bring misery to the people. But they are few in number. The ordinary citizen will be happy to get back to life as normal, to have their families return home. And they should enjoy it while they can. I suspect all of Tamriel will again be called to arms in the not-too-distant future. The generals put me in charge of assisting the new governments. I may understand things here in Skyrim better than the general, but I'm a soldier at heart, not a politician. But I'll do my best. This is the land of my birth, the land that shaped me. I'm proud to have any part in making it strong. The Legion's work is far from finished, but you are free to roam. 
I suspect you'll be of greater good to Skyrim out there, in the world. If, while you're out there, you stumble into any Stormcloak military camps, I expect you to destroy them. I've reports they are hiding in the hills. I'll take my leave then. The rebellion is over. Ulfric Stormcloak is dead. His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. I am proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. All hail his legionnaires. I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. I hope we haven't just created a fire. There's bound to be resistance. There are many Stormcloak camps tucked away in hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes. I pray you're right, Lady. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much to be done. No. I suspect Skyrim to be my home for many years. I can't say I'll ever get used to the damn cold or understand these Nords, but I've come to respect them. The harshness of Skyrim has a way of carving a man down to his true self. Watch yourself. I feel so alive! We destroy those club traitors! Good job out there. Glad you were with us. Did it! I feel so, so alive. I showed him, eh? Thanks for your part in all that. my research material. I gladly share my knowledge.
Mountains. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear radiant rain is a large switch. You know, the winking skeever is not doing just that the best. Oh, let me just drop. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Finally. No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I do hope that... I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Vampires are oh, clever hunters. Are... More clever than you. I assume you, you are definitely. here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place. But I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. 
Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight. But they reversed Olaf's orders, much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe...